Hello, hello. So today I'm going to be talking about Zara Fields at Nightfall. Oh, this is just a wonderful fragrance. It's an ambery fragrance in an EDP concentration. And this is supposedly a dupe for Zadig and Voltaire's This Is Her. So more on that in a little bit. But the notes, the top notes listed on the Zara website are praline, mid notes are jasmine, base notes of sandalwood. It smells to me like there are a lot of other notes in there. I mean, this is a delicious, creamy, lactonic, warm, sweet, milky fragrance. For me, it has this roasted marshmallow and milk vibe. It literally makes my mouth water. I mean, it's the middle of summertime here, or summertime just started, I should say. And I mean, even though I don't wanna get a cup of hot milk, it's definitely making me want some ice cream for sure. As I said, the dry down is all about that sandalwood, which is what I think gives it the creaminess. I smell vanilla, it's not listed in the notes, but anyway, it has a very feminine vibe. This is great for fall, winter, or spring. In the high heat, it probably will be a little bit cloying, But if you're mostly in an air-conditioned setting in the summer, I don't see why it wouldn't be good um, for summer as well. I would say 21 plus adults. Um, This is great for day or night, in my opinion. So my scorecard, this is a 9 out of 10. So projected in sillage, I gave it a 2 out of 2. Now granted, I spray heavy and I spray my clothes. Lasting power, at least 5 to 6 hours. I have it on today. I layered it with a couple of other different fragrances, so I don't know if I'm just smelling the whole combo. I sprayed this on me this morning at six o'clock in the morning. I layered it with Sarah Jessica Parker's New York City Crush and um, Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. Um, Neither of those other two fragrances are really beast mode. And yes, I did overspray. Um, but I can still smell it and we are well at the 13 hour mark. Um, originality. I think this is a two out of two likability. I'm going to go with a one out of two. Um, I have worn this fragrance all by itself and I'm definitely enjoying it a little bit more layered. So that's why I can't give it the perfect score and value. I mean, it's a Zara fragrance. Come on guys. It's so affordable. This is a nine out of 10 fragrance. Love it. So as I said, uh, many people say this smells like Zadig and Voltaire's This Is Her, but it's probably a little bit more linear. Um, The fragrance uh, in terms of Zadig and Voltaire, it has jasmine, sandalwood, pink peppercorn, whipped cream, chestnut, and vanilla. And in the base, it also has cashmere in addition to the sandalwood. So it's a little bit different. Please let me know if you smell this fragrance. Tell me if you think this is really a dupe for Fields of Nightfall, if you smell both um, or not. Interestingly, the nose behind the Digan Voltaire's This Is Her is Michel Amarac. And he also created one of my other like OG, super loved fragrances, Burberry for Woman. I absolutely love that little pear fragrance. Um, now it smells a little dated, you know, it doesn't smell as contemporary, but I love that scent. So when I saw that he was the nose behind the Dig and Voltaire, um, this is her, I was thinking, man, maybe I need to pick up a bottle of that, um, or at least go on Macari and see if I can hunt down a, a sample, a bottle, um, so I can enjoy it and compare. So go ahead if you like this content if you want to hear from more from me do all the youtube things go ahead subscribe like hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos um that's all for tonight bye